Hi guys, welcome to this video. We are going to make a video about GNOME and I'll do it like this. I just thought maybe I'll just take desktop one and desktop two. And it's because of Neo, very appreciated beta tester who gave me a list on Discord about extensions. Now first the basics. We are on GNOME, all right? We are on Wayland as well. And this is the ISO that you're gonna receive, the Arconet. Use advanced, XFC goes out. I selected GNOME and GNOME Extra. That means there's a lot of stuff on my machine now. So these apps are part of GNOME plus part of, you see games in here, GNOME Extra. Mines is here, right? Things that are not normally part of GNOME. Okay, so that's what we've done. And now we're gonna play with extensions, basically. Now, Super gives me this choice and you can actually go in here, but don't need to go in there. You can just type up here, extensions. And there are two extensions. Also a tip for Neil, by the way. This is the normal extension thing. All right, GNOME thing. They're both GNOME, but that's the GNOME project. But here he misses a tab. So basically this is the default. Let's make you bigger. And I can do already a lot of stuff with this. I can have an apps menu. Okay, cool. This click is this click. This click is that click, all right. Auto move windows. We have to investigate what that does. All right. Not gonna experiment, I explain everything, right? But just showing you, launch new instance. You can just activate it and then you'll figure it out by just working with it, right? Light style, not my thing, right? But if you want it, it's there. Native window placement, let's see what it does. Place a status indicator. Ah, yeah. Some other things are immediately visible, although once you have to try out, right? Removable drive menu, that's the USB that you have to pop out, which is actually in there, so we can do it. We can remove that thing, eject anyway, and the USB is now out. Voila, done. <laughs> Some other things we can actually do. Screenshot window sizer, sure, why not? System monitor is an interesting little thing, right? 15%, 12%, 0%, the download. If there is maybe a torrent busy, you can keep an eye on how busy it is. And then user themes, window list, that's down here. Not really a fan, but okay. So workspace one, we're recording. Workspace two, we have this. So window list on and off, because I want to put something else there. So it's off. Window navigator and workspace indicator. So up here. I can also, that's maybe an interesting little thing to keep around since I'm using two desks, but I can just do it like this, right? Okay, that's the default one. There's another one. Extension. Manager to manage the extensions. Looks a bit similar, but what I've done they've add something browse you can also say nope nothing or this on and off sometimes remember linux open source fos there are people like you who are coding building these extensions, like the extensions, you can compare them maybe with the extensions in Firefox, in Google Chrome, in Vivaldi, extensions to enhance the experience of a browser. Sometimes things go wrong, right? Because an update comes in and, and okay, actually the extension is, is crashing or making everything act bizarre. This is a good button to say, okay, stop. Is it because of the extensions? Reboot, have a look, okay. So these are all our options that we've done. Light style we don't like. Here you see some more signs, little sign down here to say, okay, workspace rules. And then I can almost guess what it's about, right? 
auto move windows to a certain place look at that 2048 <laughs> and then you keep on learning right i'm just giving you an overview not a detailed one i want to go to browse because neo gave me a list alphabetical app grid is the first one all right let's go I'll, oops so my keyboard is not okay no problem let's go to settings settings i think it's not okay let's try it again i am of course on a qwerty keyboard i'm always doing things wrong <laughs> i bought myself a qwerty keyboard to have the same um well for the most of the people most of the people have a qwerty keyboard here in belgium we have an azerty keyboard so that's why I bought one. Keyboards are here. English US. Aha. Uh -huh. Add input. Put source. So English is, is okay. Is this where I should go? Is this where I should go? Belgium. Add input source. There you are. Oh, that one. Add this one can go then remove voila am i or am i not working in where is my extension manager i've closed it i guess extension manager azerty let's try azerty yay all right back to business so look behind alphabetical upgrade all far ethical app grid order the app grid and folders all right you have a look mm -hmm. sure thank you very much comes with okay with garuda gnome so voila we install and we install first one on the list and then you see here that it's installed and for the rest there's nothing to set i think let's have a look here installed alphabetical is it at the bottom or where are we going to see it here it is and then here we have settings sort folder contents and so on you experiment more seems to be with to have to do something with this right that's the first one okay browse another one app indicator support i missed that one app indicator support you saw me start with app indicator support with um, our application obs in large normally i would hide it somewhere and the indicator here should have something there but there wasn't now I don't see it as such for in the search there is no app indicator anymore unless I make made a typo it is app indicator support yes so there is another way of doing things maybe and that's going to Firefox and go to the website maybe the link the app goes to gnome extension something let's see voilà. gnome shell extensions and here we have app indicator let's first maybe click here to install browser extension since we are on a browser continue to installation add 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 okay so app indicator support it seems to be removed it's possible right it's possible that he still has something on his computer that in the meantime has been replaced by maybe this one or that one that's possible as app indicator case status notifier item back to the shell and that's a notifier and that is without notifier can we see no such native application gnome shell 
unsupported for years does not work okay next one uh -huh. that's an essential one april 14 2024 so that recent download whoa right let's see if it does that without knowing what shell it is it says unsupported install anyway let's try it's just a test for me just machine and we'll see all right installed app indicator is this one on it goes <laughs> there's a problem i guess we'll have to find something else this is all yeah fun and games but it's free right you need to find something that works so that's was why i make this video what works there is an arch linux updates indicator arch linux updates indicator that's nice install that they made something for us Let's maybe remove a few things, but later on there will be an, a great extension to remove things again. So we have this, check now, up to date, thank you very much. Okay, that's a good option maybe, there are some settings in here. Time to wait, first check, second sensor one, indicator always visible, use built-in icons. Okay, position in the panel menu and nothing more can we can do right this is this is it we can't do anything but we can check we can do this here change that maybe okay good that works we can keep this one blur my shell okay blur my shell that's a blur look to different parts of the gnome shell including the top panel dash an overview okay install and then that's installed blur my shell it's on we have default we have an effect manage effects default rounded manage effects add pipeline a little hard some panels to do statistic so I am gonna play with this later on right for sure what we understand now we understand but we'll figure it out another time okay let's blur clipboard history clipboard clip with a p blur okay gnome clipboard history is a clipboard manager gnome extension that saves items you've copied into an easily accessible thing sure sure handy handy but is it that little thing that came here? And that's that little thing. Okay. What else? Cover flow, all tap. Cover flow. That's the one. Replacement of all tap. What is all tap? This. This is all tap. Okay. And cover flow, all tap. Ah, oh, yeah. That one. You see in the image already what we're going to do. All tap is freezing everything up. <laughs> Escape. Ouch. How do I get? Ah, uh, something moved here. Ah, okay. Arrows. Arrows. So let's try it again. All tap. This is all tap. Okay. Stop freezing. Seems to work. All right. Cover flow tap. And we're on NVIDIA, by the way. <laughs> um, dash to dock, that's one I like. This is one I really, really like, dash to dock, but this is the one I like. So he is talking about which one? Dash to dock, just that, just to dock, let's see. 
talk from dash <laughs> test to panel I am not seeing it it really is called dash to dock there is dock from dash <laughs> talk to dock anyway I show you the one I like that seems to work for me and doesn't seem to work for him this thing I've never seen before I, I, I don't know how to activate it yet right it's play playtime but um, this one is actually quite nice that we get this feeling of macOS back in the days and this would be a folder and that will be radiate out if there is something in there but maybe it's something we need to activate right to say go in here and have a look what I should do and there is plenty of time for me to play around with it great awesome browse okay gnome 40 user oh la la gnome 40 user interface this probably right instead of 40 they have said set 4x and tunes gnome overview to make it more usable etc okay that sounds like something anybody should have but what does it do search this text box is hidden by default shown beginners you read them scale of workspaces resource wallpaper the pip picture in picture for firefox all right and then of course you go look here and see what it's all about thumbnail scale stuff height search research, zoom, 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 zoom. well actually that's it is it probably other things that we can't set have been applied i don't know just perfection what a name is that just perfection just perfection okay tweak tool to customize gnome shell change the behavior disable etc activities oh la 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 long list of what it does give me perfection why don't we eh? why wouldn't we like perfection so go in here just perfection upla bug report stuff default override the shell theme upla what happened here colors at the top there a little bit bigger custom minimal super minimal things down here change <laughs> that's strange super minimal again right experiment with it don't forget the visibility and all these things icons that we can change behavior that we can change and customize I'm sure I'll find things in here that I say oh I like that clock menu uh, if you hate the clock <laughs> I don't want the clock by clock right keyboard layout gone accessibility menu gone all right interesting tweaks if something bothers you mm -hmm, you go and grab an extension then legacy gtk theme what is that legacy oh yeah there he is changes the gtk3 theme to light dark farm based on the okay to light or dark thanks we need it thank you finally the plug found the plugin and i was looking for okay so that's that legacy that's this one on and off we'll have to check out what that is what is it doing and then this one is really cool he says let's see light style we've seen light style i'm not a fan of the light style so that's installed check 
top bar organizer top bar organizer nope not yet top bar organizer organizer uh -huh. this i would like transparent top bar <laughs> it's not on the list <laughs> but um it caught my eye <laughs> I don't know if we should do something. Ah, it said some. It was saying opaque top bar when a window touches it. Well, I'll have to try that out in a later moment. Don't see anything happening here, but it's installed and we test it out. So top bar organizer, maybe on the website, it's there, but it's um, vitals. I remember vitals, I like that one as well. Install, install, look at this here. Now we are getting too much, right? Is the last one, no, he's not mentioning it. There is something about an extension here, extension list, I think simple I think so I think so I like this one a little because of the fact that I can say these are all my extensions and since it's becoming a little bit crowded then you can say for example I'm gonna get rid of this and then clipboard history as well and suddenly right things become a little bit more manageable where is the one that does the vitals that we don't want to uh, look at that's actually this one well uh, here are the vitals it's an interesting way of looking at things CPU is busy, who's working? GNOME Shell is working. And then OBS, the hardest. And here's a system monitor. So that's gone, that was here. Now we only have this one. And one of the fun thing is you can actually get rid of this as well. So it, you, it, you can remove the extension in the extension. And it was a bit funny. So extension list is in here. So boof, it's gone. Right. <laughs> Services. Um, extensions, I mean. Extensions. Manager. Did we... Yeah, there was one more. Open weather. Now, I must make a remark about these things, about weather things. And my knowledge actually comes from the conkeys. These things tend to break over the period of six years. Then they discover that the API is open or it was not intentionally or you have paid service and, and stuff like that, right? But it, it does know where I'm, I'm living more or less. And then clear sky, yeah, it's not that clear anymore, but <laughs> all right. the information comes from the internet and it is that not nothing no no uh, it's correct or it's not correct and it's gonna be light rain tomorrow nice thank you very much we'll see that's my roundup of extensions as you see you can waste your life on looking for extensions it's the same in extensions for browsers i always say to my students if you are uh, bored of a teacher then have a look at the extensions because there is so much out there in extensions you can load more results and i've done the same so relevance downloads recent name and have a look Let's just keep scrolling he's, he's, keep, he's going to keep adding things not a lot i mean per 10 per 5 i don't know and then even more and even more and of course the website eh, with with also here information extensions but remember these things, 
absorbed by popularity. These things are created by users, right? And if updates come, hmm, uh, you have to be a bit patient then. And that's why it's a good idea to say, okay, extensions off for a while or this particular extension off for a while. So I would like to have a, the OBS Studio up here. So I'm gonna look for something like that. Here is extension list, a customized clock on the lock screen. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on, 214 pages, All right? Then you know already, wow. Have fun exploring. I'm gonna stop the video here. Enjoy GNOME and all its extensions. Cheers.